Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about derivative. So now I will show you the answer. For the first one, we need to apply about product rule of derivative. So that means We will do first the derivative of sine x. Later that we do first the derivative of cosine x. So this one, you got about cosine s, cosine s. This one, you got about negative side s. So we need to simplify. You got about cosine s square minus side s. And we got about cosine 2s. Now let's go to the next one. If we do this function, so we got about 5. We do first the derivative of z to the power of negative number 4. So we do first the derivative of z square. Later that we do first the derivative of tan z. So, first the derivative of z to the power of negative number 4, we got about negative number 4 in here. Negative number 4, we need to minus number 1, because the formula should be like this. This is the formula of first derivative. Now, about z to the power of 2, you will go about 2z. First derivative of tan z, you go about secant of z square. This one, we got about negative number 20. Z to the power of negative number 5. We got about negative 2Z times Z. Negative Z square secant of Z square. Now let's go to the next one. The formula of this quotient rule that should be like this. So, we got about b square 
and we do first the derivative of a minus first the first the derivative of d multiplied with a, and this is the formula in here. So we got about tan s to the power of two. Later that we do first the derivative of shaken. So for the derivative of second s, you will got about tan s multiplied with second s with a negative. So we have second s oh sorry tan we have tan s. This one we go about second s square over tan s square. So we go about negative second s multiplied with tan. S square minus second S to the power of three. Now let's go to the next one. This one, you will got about number ten. We put in here three t square plus cosine t ten minus one. You got about number nine. We multiply with first the derivative of. t square plus cos t with first derivative. So this one, we got about six t minus s t. Now. Let's go to the next one. First, the derivative of cosine. You go about negative sine. Later, that we do first the derivative inside of sine. This one, you got about six s square plus one. And that's it, the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.